Building my polk sled. To build my polk sled, I used a basic toboggan style sled purchased from my local Ace Hardware store. The cost was about $40. It is made from heavy duty polyethylene, HDPE, and measures about 19 inches wide by 66 inches long. The manufacturer is MSCO, and it is called the Heavy Duty Beast Expedition Sled, model number 1138. Item number 8097065. It has molded in bottom runners, holes for attaching ropes along the sides and back, and has a curved up front which will help float the sled over snow. One downside for using this sled design, I see, is that the front area is not conducive for attaching pole mounting brackets, at least not with the durability that I think I need with my polk sled. I'm not convinced the lip on the front would withstand the pulling forces exerted on it. Therefore, I decided to add an understructure to the sled that would not only provide support to the entire sled, but would also provide a better place to attach the pole mounting system. I wanted this sled to be able to haul 150 pounds of firewood if necessary. I'm using a half inch by 10 foot piece of EMT electrical conduit and bending it with a conduit bender to create my understructure. After the conduit has been fitted to the sled, I attached it using stainless steel eye bolts and lock nuts. The pre-drilled holes in the sled made this an easy installation. I used a 7 16 inch by 13 inch piece of solid galvanized steel rod for my pole attachment system. I drilled five holes in the rod, about one and a half inches apart, through the conduit, and fastened them together with stainless steel 8 by 32 by one and a half inch bolts with lock nuts. The poles will be attached to the 7 16 inch rod using half inch ball joints with female threaded ends. I went with larger size ball joints than the rod size to allow for corrosion on the rod that I know will happen in time. I want to be able to remove the ball joints without any difficulty. On each end of the galvanized rod I drilled a hole for the placement of a hitch pin. I also installed locking collars and stainless steel washers so the ball joints will travel on the rods where I want them. The poles I'm using are half inch by five foot fiberglass rods to purchase from my local Agway farm store. They are often used for temporary fence posts. They cost about $4.60 a piece. In order to connect the ball joints to the fiberglass rods, the fiberglass pole ends must first be threaded with a half inch die. The threaded ball joints can then be epoxy welded to the fiberglass poles. The finished pole attachment looks like this. On the other end of the fiberglass pole, I will epoxy a threaded coupling that has had an eye bolt welded to it. The eye bolt will then be attached to my hip belt. The hip belt I'm using is just a fanny pack that has been modified for the purpose. The idea is to carry everything in the sled, but provisions for water, snacks, my camera, and maps can be stowed in the fanny pack. The fanny pack has a loop sewn on each side. The loop will pass through the eye bolt and then a carabiner will be attached to the loops, locking the eye bolt to the loop. The fiberglass poles once attached to the front of the sled will then be crisscrossed and then attached to my fanny pack. Shoulder straps can be directly attached to the sled that will help pull it. My gear is placed in a duffel bag and the bag is then strapped into the sled with 3 quarter inch polypro strapping and side release buckles. This guy has the right idea. I hope to be doing this next year.